George Russell will be next to cross the line. Goes third fastest for George Russell. Much, much better lap for him and the Mercedes. Two tenths off and we've red flagged the session. The red flags are out with no indication that we've got a car against the barriers or a driver that's had an accident. Yuki Sonoda yep. into the, the, the Nouvelle Chicane. And has he made contact with the barrier as he goes through and locks up? Good front left puncture having touched the barrier. Session's right. going to resume in three minutes' time. Is it just on the way in? He might have made contact to get that puncture. Nicholas Latifi hasn't managed to get out of Q1 so far this season. Uh, has a chance and sadly for him misses out. Only 18th fastest. Sebastian Vettel next across the line goes seventh fastest. Big improvement in his uh, lap time. Fernando Alonso uh, is uh, next across the line. We're on board with the McLaren. Norris and Ricardo uh, trying to improve their position. Alonso goes eighth fastest. Norris goes into the top four with a brilliant final sector. Daniel Ricardo is next and he goes into the top pushes Lewis Hamilton a bit closer uh, to the drop zone. Mick Schumacher, Bottas and Albon down there as well. Lance Stroll is in the bottom five, stays in the bottom five as Esteban Ocon goes fourth fastest overall and Yuki Sonoda goes into the top nine. Alex Albon is out of qualifying. Gasly out of qualifying two. And that was quite the finish to the first part of qualifying. Some brilliant laps going in from the likes of Ocon and for Norris, Albon, Gasly, Stroll, Latifi and Joe all lose out. Vettel and Bottas with best personal sectors for the first part of the lap as Ocon goes six fastest, pushes Kevin Magnussen out of qualifying. Uh, the Mercedes of Hamilton uh, crosses the line, goes seventh fastest. He's going to be OK uh, for Q3 here and probably his teammate George Russell as well as we watch out for Sebastian Vettel and Valtteri Bottas. Yuki Tsunoda is at risk because he's currently 10th. Sebastian Vettel crosses the line, gets his Aston Martin into the top 10. Decent lap from Sebastian Vettel. And round the final corner we come with Valtteri Bottas. Can't get himself into Q3 for the second time this season. Valtteri Bottas misses out. Good news if you're Fernando Alonso, who was the driver at risk as Max Verstappen crosses the line to go fourth fastest. But a decent lap from Vettel right at the end there. But out in front, Leclerc and Perez separated by less than a tenth. Uh, disappointment for Daniel Ricciardo, his former teammates at Red Bull, now at Aston Martin. Sebastian Vettel has got into Q3 here. In early, pick up the throttle, give it full beans. There's so much grip there, so much traction. And uh, await then the burst of sunshine, and you know pretty quickly you're on the brakes. Go a little bit wide on the way in there, just a tiny, tiny bit wide, but carried good speed. Uh, mind the right tyres against the barrier as you go through the left-hander and uh, mind them again through the exit. The Ferrari settles so nicely. This is where Leclerc carries a lot of speed. Brake again in a straight line. All the shifting done. Apex late. And uh, now you've got one corner to make and you've got to stay out of the barriers there. I don't think he's attacked the track quite like I've seen him at other times. But what's it going to yield time-wise? An 11-3. That's a cracking lap. That is half a second quicker than his best lap and the fastest lap during Q2. He has found more pace. Charles Leclerc, who this time last year took pole here, uh, but managed to crash his Ferrari at the end of Q3, which led to him not starting the race. He's on provisional pole now by two tenths of a second from his teammate, Carlos Sainz. Lewis Hamilton on used tyres makes his way round in an unrepresentative time of a 124. Lando Norris also on used tyres in the 112s. We cross the line with Max Verstappen and he's nearly three tenths off the pace of the two Ferraris. Pole position currently occupied by Charles Leclerc who took pole of course this time last year and I dare say an awful lot of fans here in Monaco this weekend would love to see him keep up the pace he's setting currently and it's a rocket pace out in front. Again takes the pavement into Portier now. And, uh, wow, it didn't look like 100% traction. Was that Red Bull that, sliding sideways? That was Perez, and Perez has stopped at Portier, and I think Perez has gone into the barriers, and Carlos Sainz on the scene as well has made contact, and that is the end of qualifying. And last year, it was Charles Leclerc who hit the barriers and managed to grab pole. I'm out, man. Sorry. This yeah. year, it's Sergio Perez who's hit the barriers 
and Charles Leclerc has grabbed pole. I dare say he would have grabbed pole anyway because, well, in the week that he announced he was becoming a Disney character, he has been light years ahead of the rest in this final part of qualifying. But that is a little bit of wreckage at Portier. Yeah, it's a yellow flag late. Perez disappears through Mirabeau and, as I say, lost the rear, sliding around that right-hander. And there's Sainz doing exactly the same thing. So we just saw it, didn't we, in the corner of our eye, yeah. the, the, the Red Bull at a funny angle as the, we had the shot cut and uh, uh, one of those pendulum spins. And wait for it. Here's another uh, one. Tomorrow could be a completely different day if the weather forecasters are right. And uh, I hope you brought your rain jacket because the rain is forecast. Charles Leclerc then 12 months on from a pole position that he couldn't take up because his car was damaged in a crash against the barriers. Well, today sees someone else go into the barriers and he will be very, very happy with that pole. Undoubtedly 